off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Starting out with a good old Costco haul. Um, <laughs> hi, welcome to our day. Um, Jason's coming by here. No one's in the file, that's why I picked it to start. Um, I just wanted to show you, one, we found a rug. So, but then, um, this is why we wanted to stock up on all that food, so that when we came to Costco, we just got all the fresh stuff. So that when we bring home food, the kids just see bright colored, fresh fruit, so these are fresh cheap. veggies. Yes, and these um, blueberries went back in price. Now they're five dollars a thing instead of seven, which is fantastic. So now they're going to see all the bright colored fruits and veggies, and milk and cheese and things like that um, that we can just get each week. So they still have all the stocked up goods, all the crackers and the chips and the things like breakfast that, drinks. breakfast drinks. But we don't have to buy that each week, which is fantastic. Man, in and out in 20 minutes. That's how you do Costco, and it's almost all fresh and toilet paper. Now the trick is to make sure that his car is actually 10 feet long. <laughs> to make sure that that goes into the car. Okay, got the seats put down. Basket put in from the back. Let's see, we're gonna do it from this angle. Right in through there. Right up to the front of us. Ah, perfect. It's all in? Look at that. It's all in. And all this trunk space to put our food. Well, yeah, let's get the basket. We'll get this. It helps to carry our food in when we put it in here. With all this hot weather, you guys, it's not even 11 a.m. and it's already uh, 85 degrees. This is not normal for here. We're, we like the sunshine, I like the heat. We're just not used to it. And uh, we, um, Jason has ordered and gotten these little sun visors that stay in the car on his um, ceiling and on the, where is it? This one and that one. Oh. Um, oh. But he doesn't have sun visors for the front uh, of the car yet. Up easy entry. It messed up easy entry. It's gonna be. He's, I'm it, worried that. He, no, it's good. It's good. It's all good. I think it's good. You sure? Shut you your need... door. <laughs> I joked that he the seat wouldn't go back into the right place because of the other seat being pushed down, and I would have to drive home, and he's really like not wanting that. You know I'm taking this car to go get my nails done now, right? No. Yes, I am. You don't have what? anywhere else to go. You don't have anywhere else to go. You're going to take this food home with me, and then we're going to go. I'm going to go and get my nails done. Look at that face. Well, He's car such is a. putting so many miles on it. So oh my quickly. goodness sakes. It's two miles to the stupid nail fact, nail salon. And, and what does that turn into, road trip? Okay, I'm done with him. Okay, we're back at home. We have our blueberries soaking in some vinegar water and I've laid out our cucumbers. I want them nice and dry and then I'm going to put them in their jars, but I'm actually going to put in some paper towel into the bottom of it so it can kind of soak up any moisture that gets into the jars. Um, but there, so I'm going to have them laid out here on the counter. I have a banana and my water because I haven't eaten yet today and I am going to go get my nails done. Yep, I have one minute. Bye babe. When I'm gone, Let's see if Jason does the AC. I want him to pull out the AC unit for down here. We have it out in our bedroom and it's wonderful. <laughs> it's 90, gonna be up to 90 today with a thunderstorm this afternoon, which is kind of weird. I normally don't get thunder here. Thunder and lightning, which means a lot of the kids' is, um, school stuff, or not school stuff, sports stuff is gonna get canceled for thunder and lightning. I want a face wipe. Do I have one down here? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face really quick. You didn't catch me, did you? <laughs> you didn't say it. So he didn't know I hadn't gone yet and he came downstairs and I thought he had, so he kind of mumbled under his breath and he was like, you said. I said, uh, I need to get the AC out. But because of his tone, I thought he said, I was standing here in the bathroom where he couldn't see me. I thought he says, I'm not gonna get the AC out. <laughs> and I was like, ready to come around the corner with my camera. I'm sorry, what oh, did you just say? Face. All right, well, I'll, I'll watch you. Well, go. Like, I know, I gotta go. Forget why I came down here. <laughs> to put the AC out. No. Yes. Bye. Okay. Love you. All right, here are my nails now. I kind of want to do more of a see-through pink, and she's hoping that she can do that this time now that I, my nails have grown out and I don't have to worry about the tips showing. 
Um, but maybe I'll do the same pink. Because I don't, I don't mind it, but I'm not going to go bright. I don't know. I'm not really in the mood for bright colors yet. All right. <laughs> Got them all done. I couldn't go quite as light as I wanted to because she was worried about it, like, showing through um, to my regular nails. But I just wanted, like, I'm really into this, like, pale pink. Um, sorry if it's noisy with the air, but I'm not turning it off. Um, gonna try and get the car aired out a little bit. Jason needs to order his screens, like the shade covers for this car. Um, but what I normally I don't get this lady to do my nails. She sometimes starts with me. Um, I don't know if she owns the business, but she has been here for a long time, and she's super nice. But she was able to do me the whole time today, and uh, we just had such a good conversation about. Um, kids like I told her you know we have our own business and um, I'm trying to figure out where I can set you down here you can still see me I don't know where um, but it was just good you know cause she was talking about how like you know her son is 15 like Abby and he's gonna do running start next year at school and she's like they just don't understand that like the value of money and they can't just have things for free and you know she's from Vietnam and she's like we had nothing they don't know what privileges, <laughs> you know, what privileges they have to be here. And she wants her kids to come work for her, at, you know, here at the salon and to understand the value of the hard work that it takes for her and what she's, you know. And I was like, I know my husband's the same way. He wants the kids to come and work for the business and um, be at our store. And they don't have any desire to. One, it's pretty far away. But um, and she and I said, I just want to make sure my kids understand that they have a job, they earn their money. If they want things, they need to pay for them. And if they don't have money, they can't have them. Um, I'm not gonna open up credit for any of them. We taught them how to use a credit card, but I'm not opening up credit or loans for any of them. Um, maybe Abby for a card, because she's gonna put a really good down payment on it. Um, and we might be able to do that for her, but I don't know, it's just different, these kids like, and we live in a prevalent area um, that it's it's a wealthy area and so a lot of kids just have things paid for and we aren't willing to do that like if you drive through the high school parking lot there's BMWs and Teslas and Range Rovers and Broncos and Jeeps and and they're just given to their kids <laughs> and yes we gave Kaylee the um, right to use our car but it is our car and, uh, you know, she kind of gave me a stink the other night when I needed her to pick Abby up from work. Um, and she's like, well, I'm, I'm doing something right now. And I said, I'm sorry, you're doing something with our car. And with our car. And our car is a family car. And the family car needs to get Abby from work. So did you want that car to do what you're doing right now? She's like, yes, I do. I'll go get Abby. And that's why it's a family car because we still need her to have responsibilities and uh, it's just tough to teach kids these days. But I do love my nails, so I'm gonna head home. But I might get a beverage. It's kinda hot. All right, you're used to seeing me here, which means I'm getting a lot of stuff done. But I'm gonna show you what Jason's been working on. We had hopes of putting this food away. <laughs> it's still sitting there. We have more coming today. Cereal and granola simple ones. Well, let's see what Jason's been up to out here. How's it going? Dude, I'm slaving away out here for your, your patio. <laughs> and you're not going to enjoy it at all. <laughs> at all. He's trimming, right? Yep. Keeps me young to be able to get up and down so much. Have you just done this whole little edge here? I started over there. Oh, you went all the way around? No, I got to finish just this and then I'll have done the edges. Uh, the thunderstorm isn't hitting like I thought it would and it's not showing on the calendar or on the like weather anymore I could sweep it and then do just a light little coat over Yeah sections. It'd be so nice. like This whole thing I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Yeah, you might as well just use it Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna I mean you haven't got not here Yeah, I mean that'll just do a ni nice coat over I mean, this section over here behind you, over here by the trees, that one has gotten a coat. I say you just do like this half over here. 
over there needs more. Yeah, you can see like lines. Like this whole section right here needs another coat. And then um, just like maybe around. Kind of a, it's kind of a diagonal, Jace. It's kind of from there over to here. Thanks for making this look pretty. Tomorrow we'll be able to like lay out the rug. It'll be pretty. Yeah. And then doesn't the furniture come? Thursday. Yeah, it'll be fun. You get to build it. <laughs> What? Just kidding. I'll I'll try and help start building it Thursday. Because okay. I am woman. I don't I'm need it. Woman, is that what you just said? Yeah. <laughs> Except I'd rather you do this. <laughs> I might not be able to build them. I'll try. I'm pretty good with that kind of stuff. I also um, just scheduled Abby to take her driving test second time tomorrow night. And she has the same instructor she had over the weekend. <laughs> So I'm hoping she's fresh on his mind and like, we're not gonna fail this time. And she just has told me, I am gonna pop, pop, pop up that hill. She's like, I am gonna go 25 miles an hour and I don't care how long it takes us to get up it. I don't care who's behind me and honking at me to try and get up this hill. I mean, it, they're in a driving car, so it's very obvious that she's a student driver. Um, but she's like, I just don't care. I wanna pass this test and I wanna do it quickly and get it done with and hope and pray that she can do it <laughs> but I have to pick her up from early early from school in order to make the time which is the only downfall but I, neither one of us care we just want her to take it okay guess what I've done I am a hot sweaty mess I need to get cleaned up I have officially ordered our Hawaii photos and I might have saved screenshots of the photos that I didn't order because <laughs> I couldn't resist not having them but it took a long time because there's 300 photos to sort through and pick only 20. And that was a hard choice because we had graduation photos, family photos, individual photos. What else do we have? Photos with Jacob in it. Like what ones do we want to save with Jacob in it? But anyway, um, Jason was very anxious to get all the other food boxes taken care of inside. And guess what? We got all of it put away. And I don't know that there's any more coming. <laughs> we just got last shipment of cereal today. Um, and oatmeal, or oats, Gr uh, granola. That's what we got, granola. I don't know where he put that. Let me show you how we finally have all of this stocked up and it feels so good. It felt so good to go to the grocery store today, go to Costco and just get fresh foods. It was so nice. I think the only non-fresh was like the rug, some chips and there's gotta be something else. You saw, you saw. Okay, just in case you didn't see the other video, these are all empty jars. We make applesauce and peaches and potentially jelly, but all these are empty jars and empty boxes for when we use through the other jars that have applesauce or peaches in them. Next shelf down, we have all of our breakfast drinks and Nutella and peanut butters are back here behind the Nutella. They're big, huge bottles of it back there. They're so big, they just stack up two at a time. And then we have fruit cups back here, but we have so many we just stacked them up back there. Then I did a box with, with these items that are just kind of standing up. We've got syrups and olive oil and cooking spray in this box, but they are labeled on the outside just in case kids don't know that like looking at this, this, that this is syrup. Um, and Ashley isn't very tall, <laughs> so she can read it and look at that. Then down here on the next shelf, I moved all of the, um, what do you call them? Goldfish over to this side, pretzels in the middle, so that this box here, you could just pull it out and it has some more quick cooking oil and then some frosting, cocoa powder. I can't tell this is kind of a baking box, vegetable oil and baking powder there. But again, listed on the outside. If I, had, if I was fancy, I would have a fancy tub to have it all labeled and whatever, but I don't. Down there, again, peaches, applesauce. But then I also added our jars of jelly that I just got um, to one of these boxes just because they all stack together really nice in the actual jar boxes. So that worked out good because I have another box of my homemade jelly from my sister back there. Then up on this shelf, we added a few more boxes of like fruit cups. Um, in different varieties and then these are cans of pineapple that we are going to use for Hawaiian chicken and rice 
and for our Dole Whips. <laughs> I think Jason is very excited to make his first Dole Whip. And then you probably saw from the previous video that we have all of the veggie pouches stacked in here in between all the shelves. So they are kind of locked in there, but we have a ton of them stocked up inside already, so I don't need to get to those right away. Then over here, the chips we just bought today. I do need to find a way to keep my potatoes in a bin or a box or something because they are starting to like, the mice are starting to nibble on my potato bags, but they do need to stay outside in the garage. Even though it's gonna be a hot summer, my garage does stay somewhat cold. Um, and then this box is obviously jello, but um, that you can kind of smell it and feel that there's like powder jello on the outside of the boxes and I don't want the mice to get into the boxes. So we put those in there. And this is just the PB Fit that I already had. And then in here, um, we have it labeled on the side, but these are all the baking mixes. So there's those cookie ones and then there's cake mixes and brownie mixes. But all they have to do to get to that is move this jar here, this box here. In fact, I'll probably just put this box of Jell-O over here because it doesn't need to be here. But then they can just fold this down and they can access it and they're all stacked up so that they don't fall out. Like these front few might fall out like, like that. But once that first one is gone, then it will be accessible. Second row, I didn't change much except I added a few more Progresso soups for Abby. I use these every once in a while, but they're mainly Abby's soups. We stocked up on more olives here and here. So I added a few more olives. And then down here on the next shelf, you saw before I have um, pastas. I have ramen, mac and cheese, and some more pasta ronis here. And then this is back stock. We have more Progresso and more olives in here. If you can't tell what our kids' favorite foods are, look at what this back stock is. And then today we got in all the Captain Crunch. We still have a few Cheerios. And then there's a whole big box down below back behind there that has more cereal and oats. And I've got to find a new solution for these powdered items. I have powdered sugar in this bag. Then we have the cornmeal mix in this box in the bottom. And then obviously the sugar in there. I need to find a place, a bin, a box, something in order to put those in because that will get eaten from the mice. Since these are empty jars in these two buckets, I might find a small bin and put them up in here. Um, we don't get to those as often. Again, it's just back stock. So I just need to have a place to put it that is somewhat obvious and won't get lost. Last thing I wanna do is go to the store for one of these items, only to have it on the shelf. These are our last boxes. <laughs> we have a few to put into recycling as soon as that, well, we had, had recycling today. Those will go out into the bin to next week when we put it out again. Dad is inspecting outside. Oh, you can't even see it. Let me see if you can see the rug. He's checking to make sure it's all looking good. Yes? I think so. I think it looks great. Ready? Right? Yeah. Is it, are you, is it wet? No. Check your feet. Double check. Okay, get your shoes on. We've got to go. But I do want to show you the rug. I think it's going to look really, really good because it's kind of got the dark and light of the house and the ground. Except for it, it's going to be all gray out there. No, because the, the no, furniture is different color. It's a so, shade of gray. It's a, <laughs> it's oh, light wait. gray. It's 50 a light shades of gray. gray. It'll be all fine. I'll add color. I'll add accents. You don't even know. I'm going to go to uh, Hobby know. Lobby and Marshalls and Home Goods. You have no idea what you just... You just opened Pandora's box. I, I'll, it's fine. The colors are fine. <laughs> it is. It's fine. Tell them where we're going now. Um, a cheer thing I'm not meant to go to. No, she's not meant to go to this. I have... Maybe she's not meant to go. It's just for parents. Well, okay, yeah, parents. Yeah. But her friend's mothers are going to be cheer coaches. So they're going. Oh, oh thank you. That's what I was trying to throw away. So, she's coming just for fun. Correct? And then I'm done for the day. So unless anything exciting happen, happens at this meeting, we are signing off. I don't even know what to call this day. Like We're mass going mayhem. To the dollar store first. We are gonna go to the dollar store. Oh, I'm gonna go and pick up my earbuds from the post office. They just came in and thank you, Pam. Thank you again for getting those for me. 
And actually, can we find the other one and see if we can charge it and see if it works? Is it there? I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute. Look at Wait, that. It feels like it does. Well, she probably packaged it so that it was protected. Look how cute it says. Hi, Dana. Sorry this took a few days to get out. I was on, still on Hawaii time. And then look, it's in the little cute little box. Okay. The missing AirPod. <laughs> it's dirty. There's sand in it. Is there? I think that's just called earwax. <laughs> and maybe a little sand attached. But it, it's doing pretty good. So we have the case. Um, and then we're going to put it in here and we'll see if it works in a little while. Check that out. Should I try it? The one is on one, on um, what? Open it again. Open it again. We're at the post office still. Yep, it's at 14%. Let's see if it turns on. It works? <laughs> is that the So did someone just get themselves a new pair of AirPods? Yeah, but I got to clean them first. Yeah, you got to clean them first. And did these ones leave the house? No. Do these ones go into a set place inside the house every time you are not wearing them? Yes. In the case? Yes. Yes. Since these are officially AirPods, these are not knockoff $20 ones from Amazon. Which I've been using. I'm going to buy a case, and that case is going to have a carabiner on it. And that carabiner is going to hook to something. No, it do doesn't need an air tag on it. Clearly we can find them. True. But I'm going to hook it to my desk. To my computer somewhere where you charge it and you get it from that case when you wear them and then you put them back in that case the second they come out of your ear because I'm not losing these again not that it was her fault that I lost them in the first place it was mine they fell out but yeah, I don't get how you you're very happy that they fell out. all right we're gonna sign off go to her cheer meeting we'll see you guys next time Easy.